First of all, I'm happy to be here. My name is Leo Zilberman and I'm the head of the Israeli consortium uh, ATID. ATID is Advanced Additive Titanium Development. Uh, and I'm uh, the head of R&D of a subsidiary of Elbit Systems, uh, which called Cyclone. Uh, we design and produce aero structures, and we have uh, 600 employees uh, for that. Great. So in the presentation, uh, I would like to uh, show how a TID, uh, the consortium, is uh, going to compete the aero structure market via the need, the operation, success stories, challenges, and uh, we are going to offer our proposed way to face these challenges. So regarding the need, I'm focusing on three facts. The aero structures industry uh, market roof annually $300 million, million dollars. Uh, it goes uh, at a steady rate of 5.2%. Uh, and the composite aerostructures market is going more than double than this uh, rate. And uh, from that, I conclude that the aviation market is pursuing for optimal aerostructures, which means high performance at a competitive price, that could be made by improved material, processes, and design. And According to my opinion, and I think that others, one of the ways to achieve these optimal, uh, optimal aero structures is by creating complex geometries, which could be manufactured only by titanium printing. Let's talk a little bit about the different sorting. So, the aero structure industry in Israel is a significant explorer, and uh, this is the number annually of the aerostructures market in Israel. Our vision, the consortium vision, is to upgrade the Israeli aerostructures industry by exploiting existing technologies uh, of uh, 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 printing. And in order to do that, we should uh, investigate and develop design and print technologies. The technology that we are focusing in is a powder bed printer, moderate size, and the material is titanium uh, grade 5. We chose that material according to all these three items, and I don't want uh, uh, to talk about them. The members of the consortium, is these are from the industry. You can see that uh, we are here, Israeli air, uh, aircraft industry is also a member, and Israeli military industry is also a member. From the academy, uh, we have uh, a well-known uh, researchers. This is the organization chart. Uh, I want to show with you that uh, the consortium is working in three working groups in order to fulfill all the requirements of the printed material. Uh, we have a design group, and printing and joining group, and materials and post-processing group, and uh, for all of that, uh, uh, we have committees uh, that is looking uh, on all the activities. So, uh, something about success stories. I was it a little bit. I forgot the bag with uh, some specimens that I... Uh... Okay, I want to share with you and I want to demonstrate some success stories that we have. Sorry about uh, the interruption. So, one of the success uh, story is an antenna support uh, bracket demonstrator uh, that he, uh, was manufactured, the original was manufactured by uh, machining, and after printing and replacing the aluminum to titanium, we reduced the weight by 30%. This is the original design, the aluminum design, this is the printer design, and this is 
for advanced a lattice design uh, for uh, this demonstrator. Another demonstrator is a propulsion system gas tank for a nanosatellite. Here you can see the assembly of the uh, nanosatellite and here the propulsion system gas tank. Another demonstrator is a rod attachment fitting uh, which was uh, originally machined. Here it is, it's a small one. Uh, it's originally machined from aluminum and it was printed uh, uh, by uh, titanium. We reduced the weight by 46%. Another uh, demonstrator uh, that we design and build is this one, the main entrance door hinge, which was originally uh, was machined and welded from stainless steel and was printed uh, from uh, titanium. We reduced the weight by 52%. Uh, uh, here you can see the design, the design cycle uh, that we use uh, uh, topology optimization in order to reduce uh, the weight. Another demonstrator is a grip holder uh, of a, an avionic system. This is a demonstrator. I will put all these demonstrators on the table right there. You can uh, take a look after uh, at the session of the aeronautics on these demonstrators. Here it's an interesting story because we reduced uh, the cost by 25%. We didn't reduce the weight we didn't do, we didn't uh, redesign the part. And I want to show with you why we achieve this number, the cost reduction, the dramatic cost reduction. So the original uh, is made of two parts and the printed is, uh, we decrease it to uh, one part. The number of, of processes we used in the uh, original is two and the printed is only one and the buy to fly ratio, which is uh, the, raw the raw material weight to the part weight, was decreased from eight to one and a half. Uh, on this uh, demonstrator and other demonstrators, we performed some static tests, full scale static tests. You can see an example here. This is the grip holder and this is a, a strain measurement optical system that help us to um, measure the strains. So regarding the testing of the demonstrator, as I said, we perform some uh, tests uh, to the printed demonstrator and all due to the printed process control specimens, road specimens. The targets of the test were quality, repeatability, and performance. And according, I want to show with you the, uh, only the main results. So you can see that in dimensional, the demonstrators were failed. Surface run roughness, they passed. But after performing appropriate finishing process, like this, it was uh, an electro-polish uh, finish process that was performed here. Physical, which uh, contains Weight, density, hardness, micro hardness, they passed. Chemical composition, the demonstrators were failed. Microstructure failed. And the reason for that is mostly lack of fusion. And in the static mechanical te testing, although the lack of fusion in the microstructure, they passed, but we saw a significant vari variance in the elongation uh, testing. So I want to conclude the, parts, the part of the demonstrators. So according to my opinion, and because of that, we began the consortium, the powder bed technology still doesn't mature. In order to, uh, uh, but I shall review the data that there are, there are advantages for the printed uh, 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 part. So we recommend that they should serve right now 
because the technology is not mature as a non-critical structure, and the technology requirement required the movements to assure the satisfactory and repeatable microstructures. You must understand that printing is only one block in a chain of required technology to improve the material uh, characteristics. Printing is expensive. Printing is expensive because of the powder price and because of the, te the technological supports that are being manufactured in the process from the same expensive titanium. But printing is worthwhile when reduction of weight is critical, like in space or missiles, functionality is combined, like in heat exchangers, rapid prototyping when we want to save use of, use of tools, integration of parts in order to unitize the printing, when lead time is critical and I need an available part, and when I could have a dramatic decrease in buy-to-fly ratio. And after looking at the whole picture, we saw that, we saw that in all the uh, publication, we did, there is a lack of dynamic mechanical char characteristics and durability characteristics, and that prevents qualification. And this is something that we need uh, to do. So what are the challenges? Uh, of the, uh, our consortium. One challenge is to develop a methodology for selecting a printer in parts that should be produced by titanium printing. Another challenge is to develop a methodology for qualification of a printed titanium materials because this is a special process. It is influenced by the process parameters, by the difference of the systems, or the difference between specific system and similar system, and the material. Any batch of material influence the, the um, properties of the material. We want to develop optimal process for production and assembly, predict printed titanium properties, to investigate, learn, and develop topology optimization rules, and to embed uh, uh, printing technologies limitation in the beginning, in the structural design process. How we propose to face these challenges? So, one thing we did is to select a printer according to a methodology that we developed. We printed two artifacts in six different moderate size printers. This is uh, the first artifact, and these are the criterions, and of course, I keep the weights for, um, for me. And uh, this is the Atid 2 with the criterions that uh, we tested, and the target was to yield the best performance of the material characteristics. Another methodolo methodology that we developed is to choose the finishing portion. As you see, as you saw uh, in the lecture of my colleague, the finishing pro process uh, influenced the fatigue properties. And we want, of course, to increase the fatigue properties because we are dealing with aerostructures. structures. Um, so we um, designed this artifact and then took the uh, specimens and uh, send them to several existing electropolish uh, based uh, processes. Electropolish that will be de developed within ATID. This is, we are working on, on, on this item, and although on this item, uh, because uh, this item, we are in the development phase of them. And the test criterions for choosing the fatigue properties are minimum lead time, minimum cost, maximum uh, high cycle fatigue, and maximum static mechanical testing. Also, we define a design allowables matrix because, as I said, metal printing uh, tend to yield different material properties when changing only one of the following. Material batch, manufacturing means, 
this is the printer, and manufacturing process parameters. It is very similar in the, in the um, concept to composites manufacturing. And because of that, we decided to adopt the composites qualification uh, methodology for developing the design values. Design values are statistically proven material characteristics of the material we chose to use, which is titanium. Uh, this metho methodology is based on these uh, lines here. And in the total, we got 18 specimens per test at a specific environmental condition. For example, 18 specimens per tension at room temperature, at high temperature, etc., etc. All the specimens uh, that uh, will use to assess the data uh, will be printed in the z-axis direction because we found that this is the weak direction in powder bed. We are talking on powder bed. And the matrix will include at least the following test, static mechanical, dynamic mechanical damage tolerance, and some of physical uh, properties. Uh, another uh, challenge that we face, we know that we want to validate uh, in situ, in processing, the quality of the printed part. We know that the printers or the printers manufacturers use sensors such as uh, oxygen, temperature, pressure, etc., layer thickness and layer boundary line, like here, a camera that uh, uh, show all, uh, all layer, actual laser power, this kind of system, and Melpool with higher camera that uh, I can get the real temperature, actual temperature uh, in the melt pool. Uh, so we decided to use this uh, artifact, Atid number one, in order to uh, develop the practices and to compare between all these uh, 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 means. That's all. This is my email. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to, uh, to answer.